Let's talk about data fetching in Next 12 versus Next 13. Uh, I've got a Next 12 app here with two routes, home and about, and we wanna add some data to our shared header component. So uh, we're here at the home page, but our header component is being rendered in underscore app. So to get some dynamic data to our uh, app, we need to come over to our index page and we can fetch data using get server side props. This is an async function, which we'll use to await uh, this call to get user, which gives us a user we can return in props. And so now back in our app file, if we go ahead and log the page props, and pop open the console, we'll see our user is now available. And uh, we have a name property here. So let's go ahead and pass name page props.user.name to our header. Open our header. We'll expose that prop. And now we can come down uh, right here in our header and paste in a little welcome message. So we now have got some dynamic data being passed to our shared header, but if we visit the about page, we're gonna see an error. And that's because our about page is not currently fetching data. So let's go ahead and copy over our data fetching code from index to about, we'll import get user, save. And uh, now if we refresh, we're gonna see about works just fine. So both of these pages are rendering, but it's kind of a bummer that we have to copy this over to every new page we make. We've introduced some implicit coupling between each new page we create and our shared header component in our underscore app file. So uh, let's see how this looks in Next 13. I've got the same app here in Next 13. We wanna add the message to the header, so let's come and find it. Uh, this is being rendered right in our root layout right here. So we can pop this open. And in Next 13, we can fetch data directly inside of components. So let's go ahead and turn this into an async function. We'll grab the user from await get user. And now if we log the user, hit save and come over and refresh, well, we're not gonna see it over here in the browser, but if I pop open the terminal, we're actually gonna see it rendering right here. And that's because this component is a server component. So uh, now we can go ahead and destructure the name and drop in our new element right here. And uh, check this out. Home page, about page, and uh, the header is fetching its data and rendering it just fine without any changes uh, to either one of our pages, thanks to the power of nested layouts and server components.